Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. As you may know, I'm in love with these short balls because they fly super accurate and they are compact. And uh, therefore I also love the Cobra R9, specifically with my magazine box on top, because it shoots these balls with great accuracy, power and reloading frequency. Because all you have to do is reload them like this and then you're ready for the next shot. <laughs> And then you could keep shooting. I love repeating crossbows. And this one is my favorite because it's so compact. But let's look at the bolts again and see if there is room for making them even smaller. Actually, these bolts are so short that you can use them just like a dart. As you see, they stick in if you throw them. <laughs> so I thought maybe we can shorten it to a length that is more similar to the length of a normal dart as in the throwing game. <laughs> the super short killer dart. <laughs> Let me show you its features. I made those just by uh, using a broken arrow and cutting it into small pieces, carbon fiber arrow. And then I put a knock in, but I also shortened the knock and then filed in a half moon. Um, and then I glued on these veins that I bought inexpensively from China, link down below. And then I put in an insert and also a broadhead that I got from China inexpensively over Amazon. I love those broadheads because they are super sharp, but they're not as vulnerable as uh, full-on uh, broadheads. And the beauty of this is that the center of gravity is really very much into the front. It's actually here. So you can see, this really is front heavy and therefore they're flying very straight, just like a normal dart. Let's throw them a bit. The technique is just like in the pub. Easy. Since they are so cool, I'm thinking maybe we can make a, a legit pistol a crossbow pistol with a magazine for those because I think that would be the most compact, somehow really effective little rubber-based pistol. Can we make one? Sure we can. Let me show you what I came up with. Meet the furious firefly. <laughs> Let me show you its features. It is a rubber-powered, see very thick rubber bands, a rubber-powered slingshot pistol that I designed. Therefore, I put my name on it proudly. <laughs> uh, it is chambered for these bolts that are under pressure with the standard lever technique. And it is very easy to slip one more arrow in here, just like this. It holds six of these short bolts in the magazine. And as you see, the pistol can really not be made any shorter. As you see, this is the length of the arrow and therefore the rest of the weapon is as short as can be. And it has a very flat profile because the magazine is fed from below and not from above like I usually do. And that is possible because this is not a Shukonu with a big lever, uh, but this is actually a weapon that you can cock like this by pulling back this little lever here. And now it's cocked and ready to be fired. Easily. <laughs> And then, of course, you can repeat the whole process and keep firing until the magazine is empty. Let's do a few shots. Bang! <laughs> Bang! Bang! And... Two more. <laughs> it's great fun. So as you see, it's not that bad. And actually they stick in a lot harder than when you throw them by hand, of course, because this has about 30 kilos of a draw force that is uh, powerful for such a small pistol. The finish actually has been achieved by burning it slightly, like singeing it. Um, and also I created these stipples with a little wood burner device. Same one that you use to, uh, you know, just 
fire burn uh, text into wood. And I like it. I actually used it first when I made my tournament style ergonomic slingshot here. I think it looks super cool and it also is really comfortable to hold. And it smells like bacon. <laughs> so let's find out how they fly over a few meters. Of course, this isn't super accurate simply because the acceleration uh, the path is so short and the bolts are so short, but it's a fun toy for short distances. Okay. Oh, what was that? It was a llama shoes. Let's go. One more. <laughs> so one shot was a little weaker. I don't know why. Maybe the string didn't hit it very good. But all the others are not so bad. I mean, this one I probably misaligned it a bit. But as you see, these are groups that are achievable. It's not so bad for a wooden pistol with such short bolts. Robin Hood shot, but a different type of Robin Hood shot. <laughs> and now the barn door shot from 20 meters distance, which is probably the maximum reach that this little pistol can achieve. But we'll see. Aim a little high. Ah, huh. that wasn't even bad. <laughs> These fly great, don't you think? The trajectory is a lot flatter than I thought, because see how high I've been hitting them? It's actually about the spot that I was aiming at. And my accuracy on 20 meters was better than my accuracy at 5 meters. <laughs> we have determined that these short bolts fly true, even when shot from the small pistol. But we wanted to do a pistol that is legit, and therefore it must be effective against ballistic gelatin. <laughs> and of course, we put our last patch of the uh, leather skin and also a, uh, well, halfway clean um, t-shirt. <laughs> let's see if we can penetrate it. All right, let's do it. And fire! Ha! It worked! <laughs> All right, let's try again from an angle where we can see the impact better from the high-speed camera. Let's go as far apart as possible. And fire! <laughs> it's reliable, it always works. So clearly both short bolts penetrated the entire setup. As you can see, two nice cuts in the t-shirt and also the skin and then the sharp road heads entered a really good distance like this far into the block. Actually I think only the veins stopped it and even the veins penetrated a little bit. Yeah, that is a nasty cut for sure. Of course, this is one more public domain video. I put it into Creative Commons. It's not sponsored and it's not monetized. Therefore, uh, it's free for you to view. <laughs> but if you want to, you can leave me a tip at my Patreon. It's down below. A dollar would be great. Really appreciate that. And I also would uh, like to take the occasion and say thank you to all the sponsors that have provided me with uh, financials over all these years. And it's a little bit sad that I now have to turn them down, but they reacted mostly in a very friendly and uh, supportive way. So thanks again, guys, for helping me through this year. 
the furious firefly. <laughs> I like it because I think I like the aesthetics. I think it's one of my rather prettier designs. Uh, and I like how compact it is uh, firing these really nice stably flying balls. So, I hope you like this because that's it for today. <laughs> Thanks and bye bye. Can't stop doing this. It's just too much fun. <laughs>